10 chin tucks and 10 five per side head turns. We're going to come back to center each time. You can either stand or you can be seated. I just want you to think of really lengthening through that spine, rolling the shoulders back and down. Okay. All right. And we're going to go ahead and just tuck back. It's a small movement for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to maintain that left, and now we're going to turn side, coming back to center in between each rep. Turn, center, turn, two, turn, three, turn, four, turn, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. So now that we've gotten our little bit of a uh, neck work out of the way here, we're going to go into our warm up. Our format is our five exercises, 30 seconds of work. 10 seconds to transition and prepare for the next exercise. Remember, if you're new here, the time is a guide, okay? So if you need to um, start late or stop a little early, please do so, okay? Just listen to your own body and see what works best for you. We're gonna start with cat cows. Now we have two variations. I'm gonna show you things in the chair position and also in the standing position and you pick which one's best for you. Your seated cat cow, we're gonna go ahead and sit at the edge of our seat and we're gonna arch and untuck our chin here for 30 seconds, okay? So let's get ready in three, two, and one. We're gonna round and tuck, and then untuck, okay? So this is your chair position here. If you'd like to advance yourself a little further, your standing variation would be to put your hands on the chair here, and arch and tuck from this position right here, okay? Whichever feels better for you. And you can mix and match. Maybe you prefer some seated positions and some standing. You don't have to stick to all one variation. Okay. Our next one is our four count cherry pickers. Okay. Seated position. We're at the edge of our chair. Our feet are out wide. We're going to reach out. We're going to reach middle. We're going to reach inward. And we're going to come up. Okay. That's our four, three, two, and one count. Two. Three and up, standing, same position. You're just from a standing here. You're not forcing the stretch. Two, one, two, three. Up. And time. Okay. Next position. Next exercise. We have seal jacks. Okay. So from our seated, we're at the edge of our chair. We're gonna open and tap to the side. Okay. Or we're going to stand. I want you to think of this nice stretch through the front of the chest and shoulders. And I want you to think of squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back. Okay. We're warming up here. You can slow your tempo down if you'd like. All right. You can do what works for you. Or you can stay in that seated position as well. Two and one. Good. Our next exercise is our total body extension, okay? Seated position, we are at the edge of our chair and we hinge forward and we come up. I want you to think of your arms like a pendulum, okay? There's a lot of momentum in your fingertips here, okay? All right, so that's our seated position. Standing is like you're going to jump, right? And then you just come up with your arms here. I want you to think of squeezing your glutes as lifting you up to your standing position. Okay, and your fingers are just along for the ride here. Advanced variation, we can come up on the toes at the end range. Okay, 
final exercise in our warm up, and then we're going to repeat the whole sequence two more times. This is our cross body twist, okay? Seated, we're just twist, twist. Think of warming up that spine, okay? Think of the rib cage, feeling that stretch around the rib cage. All right, go at a pace that's comfortable for you. And remember, our 30 seconds is just a guide, okay? You listen to your body and you determine if you need to stop early or uh, start late to increase your rest time, okay? Two and one. We are back to the top. So we are going back to our cat cow, either seated or standing, okay? Remember, if you're seated, you're kind of closer to the edge of the chair just so you have some more room to move, okay? I want you to really visualize your spine moving. Okay, remember this, your spine houses your spinal cord, okay? We wanna be able to keep it nice and healthy and keep that movement and mobility in it. We're not forcing, we're just going for our own personal range, okay? Next exercise is that four count cherry picker again, either seated towards the edge of your chair or standing, feet are wider than shoulder width. We're reaching outwards, we're reaching, reaching right down, and then we're reaching inwards and we're coming up, okay? Move at a tempo that feels good. If you're experiencing any dizziness from the up and down, you can um, you know, stop early or move to a chair position if you're not there already. We're warming up the hips and the back of the legs here. And time. Good. All right. Our next one is our seal jacks. Okay. So again, we're coming back out to the side here. You can do this seated at the um, edge of your chair here too. Okay. So think of squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back. We're trying to strengthen the back muscles, muscles, the posture muscles, and lengthen and stretch the chest and shoulder muscles in the front to help us stand up taller, okay? Also warming up that shoulder complex. And we're also warming up the adductors in the sides of the legs, the side of the glutes right here. Good, or adductors, not, I'm sorry, the adductors, that's inside of your thigh there. All right, total body extensions are next. Okay, so remember, it's like we're, going to jump and then we come right up. I'm squeezing my glutes to stand up. If you're advanced, you may come up onto your toes here, but that's just an advanced option, okay? It is not um, something you have to do here. And remember, this can be done from your chair as well. The arms are like a swing on a swing set. They're just along for the ride and the work comes in the glutes, squeezing them to stand up straight, okay? Final exercise is in this sequence is our cross body twist, seated or standing. Enjoy that rotational stretch. Should feel pretty good. Going at a pace that feels comfortable for you. Reach. We're gonna go through these five exercises one more round before our warm up is complete. Okay, so after this, we're gonna go back to the top with our cat cow. Three, two, and one. Excellent. So either seated or standing, this is our final round of these exercises here. We're coming back to that cat cow. Okay, standing position right here. I'm gonna arch and tuck the chin, rounding the back, and then untuck and lift the head up. Okay, you're not forcing it to go further than where your body wants to go. Okay, you're just trying to mobilize it and get it to move right to its edge, all right? Keep the movement fluid. Warming up the spine here, which houses our central nervous system, all right? Super important, all right, okay. Next one is our Four count cherry pickers. Again, seated or standing, our feet are right outside our hips here, okay? I'm reaching outwards, middle, in, and then all the way up, okay? Out, middle, in. 
We're warming up the hip flexors right here. And the muscles in the backs of the legs and the back here. And time, all done with those. Okay, final round of our seal jacks. Okay, coming back to our tap, tap. All right, so stretching through the front, feeling that squeeze in the back, okay? And also warming up our side glutes, which are excellent stabilizer muscles in the body. Okay, help increase our balance the more we work them. If you're advanced, you might even throw a couple regular ones in. That's just a suggestion if you're at that level. It's not necessary. Okay. And time. All done with those. Final round of our total body extensions. These are a little sneaky. You might feel your heart rate coming up on these because it feels easy enough because there's momentum involved, right? All right. And then you kind of come up, squeeze the glutes. I want you to think of the glutes as lifting your head up, right? So that squeeze of the glutes when you're down and right here you start squeezing to come up, that's what's lifting your head back up, okay? Your hands and arms are just along for the ride here. And remember, if you're advanced, you can come up on your toes, but that's just an advanced option. It's not something you have to do there, okay? Final exercise, and then we will break. Get a drink is our cross bodies, okay? Twist, twist. Seated or standing here, these both, this is one of my favorites, it feels so good. I love the way that stretch on the back of my rib cage feels when I do this twist and rotation, especially in the morning when we're still waking our body up. We've been laying down for a lot of time. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, guys, that was our 10 minute warm up. So go ahead and make sure you have some, something to hydrate yourself with, some water, some kind of sports drink, some herbal tea. Okay, and our first working block is going to be 12 minutes long. You can use soup cans, two water bottles filled, or a um, pair of dumbbells, okay? And if you don't have any of those, that's okay too. What you're just, you're just gonna pretend that you're holding on to something, okay? And, and I'll, I'll walk you through it, okay? Um, and we'll work on mobility with that. So our first one is going to be 12 minutes long, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of time to transition for the next exercise. Four exercises, three rounds. It is our just like we've been doing for the past couple weeks, our bicep curl with knee raise. If you're seated right here, okay? You pick which variation works best for you. Maybe it's even half and half, okay? Maybe half the time you do it standing, the other half you do it seated. You, you get to decide what works best for you. The next one is um, new, it's our hinge. We're gonna do a hinge, okay? Just like our total body extension, my hips push back. You see the neutral spine here, right? I'm not rounding over, okay? I'm trying to stay pull back here, okay? My thumbs are up. I'm gonna go into an I shape with my arms. I'm going to go in a T shape with my arms out to the sides, and then I'm gonna do a Y shape, okay? So I'll show you from the seated position, from this head-on position, okay? We're still gonna hinge over. I still have a nice neutral spine. Is elongated. I'm going to thumbs up, I, thumbs out, T, thumbs in between, Y. Okay, so I'm literally making those letters with my arms. Okay, all right. So we're going to do I T Ys, and then we're going to cut, and then we're going to come out of the hinge. Okay, and that'll help prevent any low back discomfort from staying there the whole 45 seconds. Um, tricep kickback and ham curl, just like we've been doing since the start of the new year here, okay? So we're actually getting a bicep curl again, a tricep kickback, and a hamstring curl, okay? Seated, what you're gonna do is be at the edge of your chair, okay? Your legs are gonna be a little bit longer, and you're gonna tap back as we do that same arm movement, okay? 
And then our final one is going to be our uh, sumo squat. We just started with this one last week. Our seated variation is going to be lateral tap to flexed foot leg extension, okay? That is our seated variation. Our standing variation, okay? You can hold on to this, you can hold up with both hands on your chair or to the side. Your feet are coming out wider than your shoulders, your heels wider than shoulder width, okay? And you're going to lower down and you're gonna come not all the way up, but hit like right here, okay? So down, press the heels into the floor up, down, Press the heels into the floor up, okay? So I'm not locking out my hips or my knees at the top. I'm keeping a little tension on that muscle the whole time, okay? If you'd like to add weights there and you don't need to hold onto the chair, that is absolutely okay too, okay? All right, first round, I am gonna do the seated variations. And then the next two rounds, I will do standing. And that's how I do all the, the, the blocks, okay? So, going to our first exercise, which is our knee raise and bicep curl. So either grab your weights, your water bottles or soup cans, or um, just pretend you're holding onto something and you know, make a fist, okay? So knee raise and bicep curl, I'm seated, I'm at the edge of my chair, ready and begin. You can go right to the standing if you prefer it. I just want to show you two modifications and you can always intermingle these. Maybe round one, you're here. You feel confident with your movement. Maybe you try it standing up the next round, okay? And as always, this time is a guide. If 45 seconds feels like too much, you can stop early, start a little late, take a little extra rest time, okay? We have 10 more seconds here. And we're always focused on quality movement patterns over quantity. I'd rather see you do fewer quality reps than a whole bunch of reps that aren't really good quality. Okay, next exercise is our ITY hinge. So we can uh, remove our weights here. Thumbs up. Our, our thumbs are always going towards the ceiling. Ready? And begin. We're going to hinge. We're going to thumbs up to I. Thumbs up to T thumbs up to Y, and then we're gonna come back up, okay? And then right back down, I, T, Y, and up, okay? Working the whole posterior chain with this movement, also excellent for shoulder stability well, as well. This hinge gets our hamstrings and our glutes, and the ITY gets our middle back here middle and upper back, which helps with, you know, when we have rounded posture, our back rounds a little bit. This helps strengthen those muscles so that they don't, you know, so that they want to pull us up straight, okay? Next exercise is our tricep kickback with our hamstring curl kickback, okay? We're sneaking in another bicep curl in there too, so really getting the arms good with this one, okay? Here we go. Or tap it back or if you're standing, your heels coming back towards your glutes. I want you to think of when you're pulling the dumbbells up, squeezing here, okay? And when you're extending your elbows straight, I want you to think of squeezing here, okay? Whether you have weights or not, your mind-muscle connection, your ability to tell your brain, to tell that body part, that muscle to squeeze and contract is a big part of training our muscles, okay? 10 more seconds here. These always tire my arms. <laughs> Three, two, woo, and one, okay. Final one here is our sumo squats or plie squats, they're either way. You're just making sure that your feet are outside the width of your shoulders, your toes are facing outward, and you're lowering down and coming halfway up, okay? Seated variation, we're a lateral tap to the side and a flexed foot extension, okay? Your advanced variation is to add weight to it, okay? Either one or two dumbbells. Your in-between variation is holding onto the chair, either with one hand or two. And your um, 
level one variation is, is right here with me, okay? So any of them will do depending on your fitness level. Just make sure you're listening to your body. Two and one, excellent. And that was round one. We're gonna do that same uh, four exercises two more times around. And we're starting with our knee raise and our bicep curl. So you can do this seated again, if you're already seated, or you can um, uh, come to standing if you're not already standing doing this. So we've got a balance factor here, right? Working the biceps, we use the biceps a lot throughout the day with our daily activities. And we're working our hip flexors here too, right? I'm telling the front of my arms, my biceps, to squeeze. Every time I come up, squeeze, right? My brain is directing that muscle to contract. Maintaining your presence throughout your workout is really important to get the most out of it, okay? Good, we can put those weights aside. We're going back into that hinge ITY, okay? We're gonna push those hips back. Our spine's gonna stay nice and neutral. My thumbs are up. All right, here we go. We're gonna push back. We're gonna make an I with our thumbs up towards the ceiling, a T with our thumbs up towards the ceiling, and then a Y with our thumbs up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the glutes to stand up, right back down again. I, T, Y. Squeeze the glutes up, right back down, okay? working the whole back side of the body here in the upper and lower um, portions. And good, we have five more seconds. And time, excellent, okay. Back to those weights, if you have them, we're going to our tricep kickback with our hamstring curl kickback, okay? I'm gonna show this from the side view, all right? Seated or standing, three, Two and one. So my heel is coming back towards my glute. And my elbows are extended straight. I'm really trying to tell my tricep to engage. I feel my bicep working because we're doing another bicep curl. It's so my challenge your heart rate a little bit here too, right? So. Again, if you need to um, adjust the length of time to your body, to your workout. Woo, almost there, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Okay, and now we're back to our sumo squats or plie squats, whatever name you're accustomed to calling it. Remember, seated is lateral tap the leg extension. Standing is feet are outside the shoulders, okay? Um, toes are out, my knees go in the direction of the toe. I'm gonna drive through the heels of my foot and only come up about three quarters of the way. All right, so we don't lock the knees or hips out at the top. And I really am focused on, when on the upward phase, pushing my heels. I'm like trying to like make dense into the floor almost, okay? Think of, you know, trying to puncture the floor with the heel of your foot. That's gonna help create that mind-muscle connection in the glutes, okay? Get a nice strong connection in the glutes. We're working our inner thighs here as well. Three, two, and one. Okay, good job. One more time through, all right? Knee raise to bicep curl, seated or standing, okay? Here we go, two and one. Squeeze, squeeze, right? We get this balance factor because there's this slight little pause on one leg. Everything we're doing now on this circuit is our last time through. And remember the difference between 
a little bit of exercise discomfort, which is okay, versus acute pain, which is not okay. All right, we have to understand the difference and know when to pull back and when to push through. Woo, feeling it. And time, okay. And anytime you need a drink of water, you know, don't worry about the clock. You get your water when you need it, okay? Not just when we break. All right, next one is our ITY hinge. Thumbs are up. All right, here we go. We're gonna push those hips back. My head falls forward, thumbs up to I, thumbs out to T, thumbs in between to Y, and then squeeze the glutes to stand back up, right back down again. I, T, Y, and up. Such a healthy exercise right here. Many benefits for posture, good shoulder health. Adding our hinge really helps create that mind muscle connection with the glutes. Okay. I, T, and Y. And time. Okay. Tricep kickback with the hamstring curl. If you're seated, remember you're kind of on the edge of your chair and your legs are extended a little bit longer so that you're able to tap that leg back, okay? So I'll show you from the side, I like the side view here. So it's flexed foot if you're standing and we're working the front and the back of the arm here. We're working our balance and we're working our hamstrings. All we have is our plie squats after that, after this, and then we are going to break and get ready for our next block. Whew, almost there, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one, all right. Final exercise in this block, okay? Plie squats. Advanced, you can hold weight somewhere in the middle. You can hold one side of the chair or both. And seated is your level one, and you're going to lateral tap to leg extension. Try to come about this way up, right? That way, your muscles stay under tension the entire time you're doing this movement. Whether we're down low or up, your muscles still maintain that tension because we're not standing all the way straight, okay? Ooh. Pressing the heels into the floor. Okay, make that mind muscle connection. The more you try to push those heels into the floor, the more you're gonna feel this uh, contraction through your inner thighs and your glutes, okay? Ooh. Three, two, and one. All right, that's 12 minutes of work. All right, let's take a little rest here. And the next block is going to be the same format. So it's going to be another 12 minute block with the same 45, 15, just new exercises. So let's recover, okay? And I'll go ahead and explain what they are. First one is our alternating uh, <clears throat> front raise with our glute kickback. Your seated variation is going to be slightly different. We're going to do the ham curl taps again, like we just did. Okay. But your arm movement is going to be opposite arm comes up as your tap. You see that? So if my left arm's going up, my right foot is going back. Now your standing variation is a glute kickback. So you're not going to flex your knee. All right. It's going to be tap. Okay. And you can tap your toe behind or you can lift it up, whatever, you know, that's, this is a little more challenging because it, it requires more balance because one leg's completely off the floor. So either tap or lift it all the way up or we'll do our seated variation. Opposite hand and foot, that's the, that's the kicker there, okay? Um, our next one is a bend over row, stand it up using the glutes, curl, press, back down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay, it's eight, <laughs> it's eight movements is one rep, okay? So your seated variation is going to look the same. You're just closer towards the edge of your chair. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And it, here's the last thing I wanna tell you. Sometimes overhead pressing is, is no good for you know, some people's shoulders, okay? Take that out if it is, okay? You're just going to row, curl. You can even give me two bicep curls and then come back down, okay? So if the overhead pressing hurts your shoulders, if that's acute pain, we don't want acute pain, okay? If it's just hard, and a little uncomfortable, but you know you can work through it, totally okay, all right? You just know the difference, all right? After that, we have our lateral two-step with external rotation. So our seated variation, we are tapping to the side twice, and then a knee. Other side, opposite knee, okay? Standing, yep, tap together, tap, knee. We're keeping the elbows close to the body, and we're working on these little external rotators within the shoulder and we're getting yet another bicep curl exercise here by holding it in that position. Our final one is our dumbbell low punches. Seated, my feet are wide, my legs are wide, so I have room, All right? With or without dumbbells, I want you to imagine like you're punching a pillow, okay? You're going downwards and you're punching, okay? Standing, I'm nice and wide with those feet. I'm pushing my hips back, notice, notice my back. It's nice and straight here, right? If you feel yourself kind of doing this, I want you to correct that and pull yourself up here because that's gonna help save your lower back, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I will be doing round one seated, okay? And that is the alternating front raise with the glute kickback, okay? Here we go, in three, two, and one. Remember, opposite hand and foot. working the front of the shoulders and the glutes. Seated variation, we're a little more into the hamstring again, just because of the nature, you know, being in seated. But nonetheless, we're still getting that opposite hand and foot pattern too, which is really good for our cognitive health, for our, our brain health. When we connect our thoughts to the movements in our body, it's like exercise for our brain. So stay present. If you're thinking about the movements you're doing right now, try not to let your mind wander to your to-do list today or anything like that, right? This is your time for you and time. Okay, next we have our row, curl, and press, okay? So we're gonna hinge it and we're gonna come up, we're gonna curl it, and then we're gonna go ahead and press it. Here we go, three, two, one. You're gonna hinge down, row it, stand it back up, Curl, press. Remember, if that overhead press, if your shoulders are talking to you and they do not like it, please refrain from doing that portion of the exercise and just stick with the row and the bicep curl. You can even do this body weight. If maybe you can put your hands up overhead from a bot with body weight only, but with weight, it, 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 it's just, it's uncomfortable. Go ahead and do that because then you're working on some joint mobility, okay? Three, two, whew, and one, okay. Next, we have our lateral two-step with the shoulder external rotation. So glue those elbows close to the rib cage or get them as close to the rib cage as you can. They're fixed at that point. I've got a 90 degree bend through my elbow. Seated position, we're just gonna lateral tap as we externally rotate and the opposite knee where we start on that side. This is a, a coordination one here. If you're new to this one, we've been doing this a couple weeks now, but sometimes you may notice when you're brand new at a new movement pattern, you know, you, you slip up a couple times because, you know, you don't, your, your brain doesn't have the sequence down yet. That's okay. Again, this is all good work for the brain, okay? Connecting the body and the brain together and time. Okay, last one are those 
low dumbbell punches or your water bottle soup cans and, and you know, just fist is fine too, okay? So we're gonna remember to keep that neutral spine, okay? We're pushing the hips back and punch. Move at a pace that feels good for you. It's a little, there's some intensity because you're moving at a quicker pace, but if it feels too intense, you need to know when to scale it back, slow it down or take a rest, okay? Excellent, we have 15 more seconds here. And then we're gonna go right back to the top with those four exercises for round two. Three, two, and one. Ooh, okay. If you're seated and you'd like to stay that way, please do. I'm gonna move this standing for the next two rounds. We have our alternating front raise with our, our straight leg kickback, okay, our glute kickback. And remember, opposite heat, arm and leg go out. So here we go, flex. This is the advanced variation I'm doing where my heel is flexed and it's coming completely off the floor. So there is a balance factor. If that is too much, you tap it back. Okay, now my toes are just tapping the floor and that's like a kickstand. It creates some uh, balance for you. And if that's too much, then that's when we go to our seated variation. Working the front of the shoulders, as well as the glutes here. Five more seconds. Two and one. Excellent. We're going to our, our hinge row, curl, and press, okay? So remember, I want you to think of pushing those hips back so that, see how my spine stays neutral when I do that? We don't wanna round into it here, okay? We wanna push the hips back, we're gonna row, we're gonna squeeze the glutes to stand up, curl, press, bring it back. Hinge, row, squeeze the glutes to stand up, keep the glutes engaged as you curl and press. Remember, take that, Press out if it is too cumbersome for the shoulder. We're working our back when we do the row. Okay, so the big muscles behind our rib cage there on, the, on either side of the rib cage in the back. That is the prime mover of that row. Five steps for the curl and shoulders for the overhead press and glutes and hamstrings for the hinge. Okay, all done with that one. Lateral two-step with the um, uh, external rotation and opposite knee raise. Okay, so my elbows are tucked in close to my rib cage, 90 degree through my elbow, step together, step together, knee, I'm off the count. Step together, step together. Step. So remember, if you're seated, it's just lateral, two lateral taps to the side versus our step togethers. You should feel this start to work. And if you're holding weights, you'll feel your biceps start to work here too. We're isometrically working the muscle by holding it like this. Woo. Five more seconds here. And time, good. All right, final one in here is our dumbbell low punches, okay? So my feet are about shoulder width apart, okay? Wide space, whether you're seated or standing. If you're standing, see that hips push back, right? Hips push back and boom, boom, right? So instead of thinking of your head leaning forward, I want you to think of your hips pushing back and that's gonna help set you up in the appropriate position. You should feel this little bit of this thoracic, this, this, um, this torso twisting ever so slightly. I want you to think of pulling the elbows back. We're working those lap muscles again, those large back muscles behind the rib cage and the back. You'll feel your arms work as secondary muscles too. And don't, it's, it's, it's no surprise if your heart rate is elevated here too, okay? Two and one, Woo. okay? 
Take a drink if you need it. We still have one more round, okay? So we're going back to the front with her alternating front raise and our glute, our glute kickback. Remember, it's opposite arm and foot that move together, okay? Here we go. Final time for these exercises. My suggestion would be if it feels discomfort in your shoulder and you're using weights, try dropping the weights and see how it feels through the shoulders without the use of the weights, okay? Because that, at that point, then you're really working um, on some mobilization through your joints, right? Whew, almost there. Five more seconds for done with these guys. Two. And one, excellent, okay. Final round of row, curl, and press. Okay, remember, so I'm not thinking my head goes forward. I'm thinking my hips push back, okay? All right, here we go. We're gonna push the hips back, row, squeeze the glutes to stand it up, keep them engaged as you curl and press. And then right back to it. You can do this seated, and you can also take out the shoulder press if you need to. Woo. 15 more seconds here, guys. 10. Five, four, three, Two and time, okay? Lateral two step with our external rotation, okay? And our opposite knee raise. Seated or standing, we wanna get those elbows close to the rib cage, 90 degree bend. And here we go. Step together, step together, knee. Step together, step together. A lot of posture and shoulder exercises here that help promote healthy shoulder mobility and strength, as well as help correct rounded back posture, not like forward head tilt, all right? Which sometimes just happens as we spend more years in our body. Ooh, three, two, and one, excellent work, all done with those. The last one in this um, set is our dumbbell punches, our low dumbbell punches. Again, I'm nice and wide, about shoulder width with those feet, right? And here we go, again, those hips come back. It's not thinking my head goes forward, it's hips push back. Boom. We are done, our third block after this, and moving on to our fourth and final block, which is six minutes, versus our 12 minute blocks we've been doing these the past two rounds. So we're almost there. We're over halfway done. Hopefully you're feeling your body generate some heat here. And just giving it the respect, you know, listening to it. Our body's always talking to us, okay? So you feel those acute sharp pains, you feel nerve pain, things like that. You know you need to back off, rest, uh, modify and time. Okay, guys, take a rest, get a drink. Whew. We're almost there. Last block, we're going back to 30 seconds of work and 10 seconds transition time. It's three exercises and it's only six minutes long. It's body weight and it's the same one we've been doing here. Um, I want to really get, get it down and then we'll move on, right? Um, so we're doing our alternating cross body punches, which is very similar to our warm up move. Okay, so that is where we're just kind of from a seated position. The difference here is where we have the fists. And remember, I want you to think your fists are protecting your face. This gives you a start and stop point. You're always starting here, and then you twist and punch, you're stopping here, and then you're returning back to your start. Right? 
So that way it gives you a path for your arms to follow versus if you didn't think about that, you might kind of just, your arms might be a little more all over the place. So I want you to think, boom, back, boom, back, you know, be a little militant with it. Do you know what I mean? Okay, Stay, standing, you just might have a little bit more of a foot pivot, okay? Just because of the nature of being standing, okay? After that, we have our knee repeaters. From the seated variation, we're at the edge of our chair. I'm going to three, one, two, three, okay? One, two, three. So we're just, if you're seated, you're just going three, 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 three. Your arms are always moving. Now, if you're standing, it's a little bit different because we have to set up for the other side. So remember, it's one, two, three, back, back, forward, one, two, three, back, back, forward, okay? Oh, this is like a, a, a step aerobic move right here. You might've just done it on step, but maybe you've taken step in your life. And then the last one is our speed skaters. Okay, seated, edge of the chair, I'm swishing. That back leg, that back toe is kind of tapping behind the calf, right? Okay, standing for that back leg, back, back, back. If you're advanced, you might hop a little bit. Okay, that's only if you're advanced. Otherwise, you just kind of tap them back. When you're here, I want you to think this is where you're working, okay? So when I'm here, I sque I'm squeezing, I'm telling my mind's going squeeze right here, okay? Squeeze, squeeze. You can even just pause for a second to make sure you're getting the connection from your brain to your body, okay? If you're not, if you don't already have that, if you're, if you're still working on your pattern, okay? All right, probably a little breathy on this last one here. It's all body weight. Let's get ready. We're gonna start with our alternating cross body punches, always coming back right to, here, okay? In three, two, and one, let's go. Always coming back to that starting point right in front of your nose. It gives you a path for your arms to follow. We have 10 more seconds here. Good for the obliques, the thoracic spine, our torso, our spine right there, and tongue. Three knee repeaters. Remember, if you're seated, we don't have to worry about the switch off. Um, but if you're standing, remember, it's back, back, forward, and then you start again. Kind of reminds me of a movement like if you had like a big stick, if you're picking up sticks in your yard and you had to break some and make them smaller, like you'd snap it over your knee. That's it. But it's an excellent exercise because we're working our back, we're working our hip flexors, and we're working our heart, right? We're getting that cardio in too for a healthy heart and good circulation. Time, okay. Last one is speed skaters. Okay, seated, I'm at the edge of my chair. I'm trying to tap that foot behind. Here we go. After this, we go back to the top. I'll move to the standing variations, but if you're seated and you prefer them, that's where you stay, okay? Whew. I always like the side-to-side -side ones. I find them fun, challenging, but fun. Two and one, okay. All cross body punches. Okay, so now I'm going to our standing variation. It's gonna look the same. You'll just see a little more pivot in my opposite foot here. So here we go. Back to the nose. Right? Find that path, that track that your arms wanna go on. Excellent, looks great. Five more seconds. Two and one. Woo okay. Three knee repeaters. Okay, seated. It's a little more simple. You just, you know, three and then three. This one we add the little switch up. One, two, three, 
back, back, forward. Five more seconds. Two and one. Let's finish off my three there. Okay. Final one. Speed skaters. I'm going to move my chair out of the way a little bit. Here we go. Seated or standing. Remember, if you're trying to develop that mind muscle connection, think squeeze, right? Squeeze, squeeze right here. Okay. Heart rate might be up, so listen to your body. If you need, if it feels a little too intense, you need a drink of water, go ahead and do that. Okay. Your workout, your body, you get to you get to choose, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Last time through. Okay. Cross body punches. All right. Here we go. Starting and stopping in that same position. Having them on that track of knowing where they're going to end and where they're going to come back to helps allow you to put a little more intensity into the punch and creates better muscle memory because you're repeating the same uh, pathway over and over again. Two and one. Versus if we kind of just did this, they're never really going in the same direction twice. You know, they're kind of all over the place. So it's a, it's a good little cue to remember. Okay, three knee repeaters. Here we go. Two, three. Standing ab work too. All three of these are standing ab work. Five more seconds. And time. Finish my last one there. Okay, Ooh, this is it. Last 30 seconds is our speed skaters. Okay, seated or standing. Here we go. I'm gonna show you that side profile too. So you can see my body. See that I'm trying to, my hips are kind of have that like little hinge to them. And my back is neutral. Our lateral and rotation movements are important in our exercise because in real life we move three dimensionally, right? And time, guys. Woo, for power, get a drink. We had a nice little sweat on that one today. We're gonna go ahead and stretch it out, okay? Um, if you're standing and you're okay with it, let's do a uh, hamstring stretch on the back of our chair here. If you're okay, if you can do this. If this is too intense, your chair is too high, um, but you still want to stand, you could use a step, something lower, and otherwise you should come to a seated position, extend that leg long with a flex foot, and just lean from your seated position here, okay? So you pick which variation is best for you. Let's come up, Let's stretch the back of the leg on the other side. Excellent. Now, if you're standing, go ahead, uh, the back of your chair. Let's do our forward fold, okay? Where we kind of get into the shoulders here. I try to make a 90 degree bend through my hips, right? As I extend long, my, um, you know, the goal is to kind of have that mobility where your arms can be um, on either side of your ear. Don't force it if it doesn't want to go. Wherever your range is, that's fine. If you um, are seated, okay, that's no good for you. It's going to be slightly different. We're going to focus more on the lower back here by just going ahead and rounding forward here. All right. You, what you're going to feel is the weight of your arms are going to help lengthen the back of your shoulders. You'll feel stretched there, but you might feel it. Um, a little more active in your lower back, which is great too, okay? When you come off from this stretch, 
nice and slow, okay? Nice and slow, okay? As we're folding forward in our for forward fold, we should always take it easy as we come up so we don't prevent uh, getting too lightheaded or so we don't like kind of seize the lower back up. Let's finish off with a thoracic twist. So if you can here, you're gonna cross your leg seated and look over your back shoulder, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and just hold that stretch. If it's too much to cross your legs and you just wanna keep them side by side and put that opposite hand against, you can do that as well, okay? So this is kind of a easier variation if your knees don't like the, you know, being crossed like this. You're just trying to look over that back shoulder as far as your, your gaze will let you go, okay? And then let's go ahead and bring it back to center, all right? Same thing other side, if you're able to, you can cross that leg, you cross it over, opposite hand is on that outside of the opposite thigh, or you can just keep the legs uncrossed, okay? Whatever works for you. Good, and then come back to center real quick. Let's just go ahead and round. So half semi-circles here for the neck, okay? So once you get half, Drop it back around to the other side. Not full circles, just these little semi-circles. Enjoy this nice stretch through our neck and traps. I love any kind of neck stretch. Feels so good to me. All right, and come back up to center. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna inhale. Palms together, exhale. Hands to heart. One more time, inhale up. Exhale back down. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed 